lot of people kind of stick their head in the sand. It, they think it's maybe they're embarrassed or uncomfortable. And uh, the sad thing is that if they just kind of get over that, then this can be avoided. And um, fortunately for me, no one in my family has ever had it, but I've been witness to it uh, several times in my career and my life that it's just heartbreaking to see what happens to these families. I've always been a runner, um, but I don't really enjoy it. Um, I only do it to stay fit. But at the thought of doing a marathon was just like, get real. I mean, that is so outside my comfort zone. So I figure, you know what? If I can use this as an opportunity to go out of my comfort zone and encourage others to possibly go out of their comfort zone and either get screened or encourage a family member to get screened, um, I'm going to do it. So I decided to align myself with the Colon Cancer Alliance out of Washington, D.C. Um, I created kind of a web, a web page uh, and um, so far um, through today I've had 50 something people, half of which I don't even know who they are, uh, donate or support me for um, the marathon on Sunday. And it's just really cool. Uh, I've raised over $5,000. Um, and it may not be a lot of money, but if that $5,000 just saves the life of one person, it's the best feeling in the world. So although it's not 50 and it's not 75, if you got 50 people together doing this, those employees and staff members at the Colon Cancer Alliance could re-divert their efforts into something else that might help build awareness. I have a dream of this to evolve into something. Um, I'm not sure what, but I'd like to look back 10 years from now and be like, oh, I remember when I was the one who did it, and now we've got 100 people that run each and every year, and we raise $100,000 to benefit the colon cancer every year.